So out of all of the 2020 Democratic Party primary contenders, every single one of them but Bernie Sanders has at least one billionaire donor. Now, that's not going to change, and we know that for a fact because of this story that I want to share with you. So a billionaire named David Hull, who is in the industry of self-driving cars or something of that nature, his spouse tried to donate to Bernie Sanders in the summer once she really liked that he called Donald Trump a liar. Now, it wasn't a large contribution. It was $470, but Bernie Sanders rejected that. And her response is absolutely hilarious to me. So for more on this story, we go to Michaela Tindera of Forbes, who writes, Marta Tama Hall, 67, is married to a billionaire, but she detests the one in the White House. So much so that when Democratic presidential candidate Bernie Sanders labeled Donald Trump a liar over the summer, she made a contribution to the Sanders campaign. I appreciate the bluntness, Hall says. By donating, Hull put herself in a unique position. Forbes could not find any other billionaire or spouse of a billionaire who has donated to the Sanders campaign. For Sanders, the lack of rich supporters has been a point of pride. Not a single billionaire has donated to our campaign, the Sanders camp has proclaimed for months on bumper stickers, its websites, and social media. So how did the campaign respond when Forbes let them know that the spouse of one billionaire had donated? Thanks, a Sanders spokesperson said in an email. We are returning Miss Hall's contributions. It's not much to send back. According to the federal filings, Hall has donated only $470 to the Sanders campaign. Hall is not pleased. I think it's disappointing, she says. I don't understand why they would do that. That's ridiculous. I love this story so much, and I can't help, you know, but have a goofy smile on my face when I read it. Because Bernie Sanders... He is the real deal. His integrity is unmatched. For decades in Congress, he's remained principled. He hasn't wavered on any of his progressive ideals. And he's the one person in this race who hasn't accepted billionaire money and who obviously is terrifying the establishment. So much so that they're trying to pretend like he doesn't exist and that Elizabeth Warren is the real threat. They all know it's Bernie Sanders. He's the one candidate who is not acceptable to the elite class. So Bernie Sanders acknowledges that you can't beat a system that oftentimes corrupts and co-ops politicians by taking its money. You have to reject it. You have to reject every single nickel from oligarchs. Otherwise, you are part of the problem. You become part of the problem. So what Bernie Sanders is doing here is he's sending a message to you and I that he's committed to the cause. He can't be bought. He can't be bribed. And it doesn't matter that this individual who is the spouse of a billionaire is donating a small amount. He doesn't want their money. Because when you construct a campaign that is rooted in grassroots, then you don't change that. You don't move away from that. You don't make an exception for this one billionaire spouse doesn't matter that it wasn't that large of a contribution. If it comes from a billionaire, it's inherently tainted. Because billionaire is a class of people that should not exist. So this story is just, it, it really should demonstrate to people, if it wasn't already crystal clear, that it's Bernie Sanders. It's always been Bernie Sanders. 40 years of consistency. And with all of the special interests and elites and oligarchs that flood D.C., out of everyone there, he is the one person who has stood his ground, who is a committed organizer, who acknowledges that real change doesn't come from the top down by electing a politician and hoping that they're going to carry out the agenda they say they will. He realizes that real change comes from the bottom up. Bernie Sanders is the real deal. And let me just make my extra pitch for Bernie Sanders. And I've said this before, but I want to repeat this. We are in a really, really unique moment in history, and this is going to be a time where we're always going to go back to this moment when we're older. We're going to realize that if change happened, this was the moment where we got the chance to change the world. To get Jeremy Corbyn as prime minister in the UK and Bernie Sanders as president in America, and potentially Lula da Silva as president in Brazil. So you need to realize the gravity 
of this decision in 2020. This isn't just about normal partisan politics. This is above, you know, DC and all that politics horse race nonsense. This is our chance to change the world and literally save the planet. And if change will come, that change will be through Bernie Sanders. So regardless if we win or lose, I take comfort in knowing that I will be satisfied with my decision in choosing to support Bernie Sanders in 2020 because he's the one who is a once-in-a-generation candidate. We are probably never going to see someone like Bernie Sanders again in our lifetimes. With this history of progressivism, standing up for civil rights and civil liberties, until AOC is as old as Bernie, there will not be someone else with that record, with that history. It's Bernie. So when we get given you know, this opportunity to vote for someone who is unbought, who refuses to acquiesce to the establishment and bend to their will, will refuses to be, you know, corrupted, who is standing up for us and fighting even harder for us, shifting to accommodate our ideals, getting on board with student loan debt cancellation, medical debt cancellation, abolishing ICE. If we don't take Bernie Sanders here up on this opportunity, the second chance to get Bernie elected, then we're idiots, we're stupid, and we don't deserve change. Because we can't complain about the system if we're not supporting the candidate who's telling us very explicitly, I want to change the system. From top to bottom, we're changing it in its entirety. We're not talking about reform. We're talking about a revolution. Reforms can be undone. Revolutions are paradigm shifts. And in the United States, where we are effectively an oligarchy, anything short of a revolution will not suffice. So this story is just so great because it really demonstrates that Bernie Sanders is such a unique candidate. No other politician would do this. Just Bernie Sanders. Why? Because he's committed to you and I. He's committed to the movement. Now, he knows that even if he accepted this contribution, it's a small contribution. It's not that big of a deal at the end of the day. But he's principled. Look, we're not going to get the chance to elect someone like this again in the near future. So this is the moment where real change could happen. Take him up on that offer. We're not going to get another chance to vote for Bernie Sanders again. This is our last chance at a real change, at a political revolution. Take yes for an answer. Support Bernie Sanders and go beyond supporting him. Phone bank, text bank, canvas for Bernie Sanders. Because make sure that when we look back at this time in history... We feel confident knowing that we did everything in our power to make sure that we fought to get him elected. I'll leave that there.